What up, y'all? Let's get into it. We ain't about to waste no time. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. I always gotta turn this TV down. Let me turn this up to you. I had movies playing, video games playing, and I was watching them uh, fry some chicken. But then I was like, I gotta watch, t I gotta watch Tar video. Look, they're like, we're frying some chicken. The chicken looks so good. Look, 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 I've been, I've been obsessed with chicken this week. I had nine pieces the other day at once, and I've I just been obsessed. I've been, every day I've been wanting some chicken. <laughs> but anyways, Tara finna go to the Rage Room, bro. Like, shout out to Tara. Thanks for the video. I'm at that like button right now. You know what I'm saying? You gotta hit the like button before you even start the video. She finna go to the Rage Room. I ain't never been to one of the rooms before, but I know she finna have fun. And she going for Valentine's Day. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So would you taking yourself on a date? Is that what's going on? Hey, if I was in Tara videos, I'd be just like this. Don't show my face. You can't show my face. Like, anybody video, I'm not. Don't show my face. Yo. I like this. It's raining, because why, I like why this. wouldn't it be raining, right? The rain on my It's been raining all day. In bad mood. And I know people love the rain, and it's, like, calming and whatever. But to me, it just means I can't wear skimpy little t-shirts and... <laughs> I feel you on that. skirts. And I don't... I actually like Valentine's Day, and I think it's a holiday that I don't mind being celebrated. Oh, that's so that's that's what you normally wear, like that's your outfits and your attire. That's cute. That's cute. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm messing with that. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's raining. You, you put on the uh, the leggings and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You still, you know what I'm saying? You still, still comfy. Put on a um, little sweatsuit and stuff. You can be comfy. You know, stylish. <laughs> okay. Why right now. I don't think it's necessarily about lovers. I think it's about love in life, right? You can love your friends, you can love your family, you can love your dog. Funny enough, I just got to my ex-boyfriend's house. It's empty. No one's even here. Johnny's not here. Jason's not here. And it's because I'm house-sitting for a couple minutes to wait for a delivery because I'm just a sweet ex-girlfriend like that. But anyway. Aw, that's sweet. Yeah, for real. <laughs> oh, I see that shirt, Mike. Pool table. Hey, he must be a cool guy. Okay. I want to go to Rage Room for Valentine's Day, and contrary to popular belief, it's not because of my ex-boyfriend. My ex-boyfriend's a sweetheart. Not a sweetheart. Sweetheart. <laughs> Men in general piss me off, and I think it's because they just fumble the bag every time, and they fuck up anything good when it comes to women. And I feel like- I'm What? No, that is incorrect. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. I'm sorry. That is incorrect. Not all men, okay? There's one. That might just do it right. After, of course, he messes up a couple times. But I'm sure there's one that may do it right for you. <laughs> rage room for my friends and for the stories I've heard in the last month, and just like every man in general, just like the, the, I. Cause like, who's gonna fuck up? With, like, what, what, how can they mess this up? How can you? Like, who, who else? What? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay. The idea of like them fucking up something. Oh, we can look at it positively. Look at how smart I am. Big brain. I think I should go to a rage room for Valentine's Day to get all the hate out of my body. So on Valentine's yeah. Day, I could only have love. Oh, wow. Yeah, love. That sound good. Way to go, Tom. Smart. Way to switch the script. Smart. Hey, turn negative into positive. Tara's on a roll. <laughs> She's too gangster. You gonna play Grand Theft Auto 6, Tara? If you start a gaming channel, that'd be amazing. I'm telling you, everybody's gonna love it. What in the world? That'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. What about me just sitting in your house when you walk in? It's fine. <laughs> it's, it's not funny. <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's a problem. I was thinking, so I'm here because I'm, I was telling the camera, I'm like, how's sitting? Because you guys are expecting a delivery and you guys were like, ow. And I was like, imagine uh, if like- You're just obsessed with your ex. No, I'm just kidding. That's what I was saying. Imagine uh. if like my, like the delivery guy comes here and he's like, oh, are you Jake? And I'm like, no, I'm his ex-girlfriend. He's gonna think I'm a psychopath. Oh, I thought when you said delivery guy, I thought this was a setup for something else. No. Do you like Valentine's Day, Johnny? I don't dislike it. I don't. I don't know. What the hell's the point of it? I think it's to show people around you you love them. But like for me, I shouldn't you do it on a normal daily basis. So that's how I feel. Like how you feel. Like every day is Christmas. Every day is Valentine's Day. Every day you wake up, God gives you breath again in life. We still walk. We got two arms. You might wake up one arm don't even work no more. Both arms still work. We still got two legs. I can still catch a football. I can kiss a pretty girl. But anyways. What I'm saying is, 
and then go to a rave. I guess I guess it's to help people um, not forget love and that there is and, sh- and to show that there is love in the world. Cause, bro, I know we both men, so we we know like there's probably a lot of stuff in the world that be going on, and it, it may take away sometimes us feeling like love is here, you know. So when Valentine's Day come around, they put all the stuff up that resembles love to remind you that love is still here. There's still people out here who genuinely still show love and have a kind heart. So yeah, it's, it's good for them to have the holiday. Even if it's Valentine's every day, they still have the holiday. Yeah. It, it adds an extra, it's like an extra cherry on top. Yeah. No. <laughs> Fuck, you scared me. What do you mean I scared you? I'm fucking Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck do you have to be scared of? You have no one. Oh. Oh, gosh. Now, we are going to get caffeinated before we go to this rage room. I don't know how it really works. I just, like, bought a ticket. And then I asked my friend Sophia to come help me film. I was like, can you hold the camera while I break shit? And she's like, okay, I love it. Oh, I like your necklace. That's crazy. I used to wear bees like those. And change what well, change like those. Hi hey friends. And see, huh. that is what cool. Valentine's Day is all about. Loving people who you love. It's not always about a significant other. That's pretty cool. Actually, that's kind of cringe. Like, if you really think about it, like Valentine's Day is about spreading love to who you love, not just who you then, right? Okay, Man. never mind. We're running really late. Uh, I just realized I yip yap with Johnny too much, as I do. <laughs> so now we are yip going yap, to pick up Sophia, my friend, and then we're gonna go get coffee. Uh, and the cat girl. <laughs> While waiting for my friend to come out. I I would like to share some things that I learned while being single with you guys. I learned that all men do, and this isn't a personal thing. This is something I learned just like by hearing stories and stuff like that. I learned that all men do is lie, cheat, and love bomb. There's no. 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 I told you, no. No, y'all, no. No. All men don't do that. Okay? Just the men. I can't explain it. I'm not gonna explain it. I'm not gonna explain it. Cause then I'm gonna go too too deep in on on a, on a, on, a, on a tangent. Okay. All right. Whatever. No in between. Because if you're not being a liar, you're not being a cheater. Then you're love bombing. Because I'm I'm excited to go to this rage room. I wonder if they're gonna let me like play music. I hope they let me film in there. Oh my god. If they don't, I'm literally gonna like be so angry. I need coffee. I need coffee right now. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I could get an IV and just like stick a needle inside of me and put caffeine in it. But then again, that's just drugs, right? Like I want to, like I sound crazy. Like I want to inject myself with caffeine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds like a line because that's what that does. That's going to wake you up for about three days. That's what that sounds like. You, you trying to get some bricks. She funny. She funny. You know what I mean? Maybe I have a problem, but at least I admit to it. Okay, I'm self-aware, and that's all a girl can do. Guys, my friend Sophia. She just got she, into my car. She fired. I ain't gonna lie. She fired. <laughs> T- Tara, real. What did you just say? <laughs> Whoa. What is that? I've never seen a puddle on somebody's car. <laughs> so when it rains, like I think it's because I have a convertible. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Ah, uh, that's why I say I hate convertibles. At least soft top. That's a soft top or a hard top. There's always a big puddle in my backseat, and I just ignore it every time. Listen, uh, I'm just a girl. I just wait until it clears up, and then I just <laughs> vacuum it out. Oh, it's pouring in LA. What do you want me to do? Put a bucket at least, because then the carpet gonna smell. It can get mildew and stuff like that. So you should at least put a bucket in the backseat, like buying a chair, and put it on the floor. So that way, every time it rains, at least it falls into something. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so. Or get the roof fixed. Uh, what are they? They're stuffed bagel minis. They're stuffed bagel minis. It's the roof, though. Get the roof fixed. Are they yummy? Holy fuck! This is the energy I need before I go into a rage room. I need to be filled up. Filled up and caffeinated. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just got here. I don't know the vibes. I don't know if they're gonna let me film. We'll see. It's time to rage. Alright, let's go. Miss 411. This is actually insane. I feel crazy right now. I don't know if you can even hear me. You look like a. Yo, her eyes look crazy. Oh, exterminator. I'm here to exterminate. <laughs> she was in some movies or something, y'all? I don't know much about this, you know, on Larry channel. Y'all tell me. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Was she in some movies or something? She need to be. She cool. <laughs> she cool we're in the room. The timer started. I should have a daisy channel. I'm about to take all my hair out on every man that I've ever seen in the day ever. I'm so excited. Like, I'm literally like being moved right now. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. 444.
before. Yo. <laughs> Come on, Sophie. Get in the game. so exhausting. I knew it'd be fun and like therapeutic, but I didn't know it'd be like that tiring to do that. I forgot to show you guys. I wore red and like I wore like a little heart earring to be like cute. Her earrings were. I see them in the car. They fire. I was gonna say something, but I didn't. <laughs> I'm Nakey. I just changed. I'm gonna go shower and then I'm gonna keep vlogging because I have some stuff to say about Valentine's Day that I haven't gotten to say yet, but I want to shower because I feel so sweaty and gross after that. After that rage room, it was crazy. All right, hey, I'm back. I'm gonna do some aqua for my lips. Make them nice and luscious for nobody, but you know the deal. Self care, I guess. Um, I want to tell you guys a uh, funny story about you might be right Valentine's Day. Back <laughs> in high school, some guy right. that I had like a little crush on asked me to be his Valentine, and uh, I was like, mm. yeah, and like we were like, you know, like smooching here and there, we weren't like dating or anything. And then on Valentine's Day, I was wasn't expecting much like you know just like a flower or like you don't have to bring me anything as long as like i don't know like a little high school thing just say happy valentine's day give me like a little candy it's right. like a dollar he brought me an air Bud dvd uh, air buddies i don't know that dog movie yeah. and a spider-man action figure he brought it to be funny but okay. it wasn't funny because like it wasn't like an inside joke we had it was just like here's random crap for valentine's day and it felt really insulting i was uh, like i'd rather you brought me nothing and just give me a hug and make me happy valentine's day this isn't about like material this is quite literally like so he should have played a prank because that's what I would have did brought the spider-man gift and stuff like that as a prank but then like I'm just playing here go your flowers here go your chocolate here go your push your cash at you know what I'm saying and stuff like that I felt like he was like okay I got you me. like haha this is a funny joke and like I literally like say this with a straight face because it's not funny to me yet it was about five years ago I was like so five years high school you would think it's funny to me now but it's literally not <laughs> like it's funny to think about because it was just so ridiculous that like, you thought that I would laugh but it wasn't funny we had like, a crush on him and we were like kind of like a thing I guess and he brought me an Air Buddies DVD and a Spider-Man action figure it'd be one thing if I had like this, been like oh I love this movie or like I love Spider-Man but like no he just brought me random crap to just like be funny and he did it in front of all his wait a minute so you based in your experiences off of some random guys met you dated these men i mean these boys they were kids you dated in middle school high school like you can't base all, all men off of those experiences because that ain't got nothing to do with me i know i i, I give people stuff for valentine's matter of fact when i think about it i was with this girl on for like seven years i literally i didn't do this on purpose it's just when i went inside the store it was a car that kept catching my eye. Three years in a row, I only gave her the same car. Three years in a row. She pulled it out. Each one was looking at it. It was like, I was like, bro, what the? <laughs> I was like, how did I give you the same car three years in a row? Like, it literally made no sense to me. But it's like, you can always just do something special. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't do stuff like that. You know, you put the, uh, the candles, you got the roses all on the floor. You got the candles in the tub. You know what I'm saying? You got some champagne or some wine then you got the air bud you can throw the air bud in there you got spider-man sitting right there next to you while you got her boom now, now we all live we all watch them that that you see what i'm saying how we could have made that romantic like there's an easy way to work around all of that afterwards they bring me like a balloon and flowers but that's just because everyone was like yo you're kind of weird for that that's fucked up so that's it's like, all good a little horror valentine's day somebody else can do good. something better for I you pretty good valentine's days ever since and before that like okay. when you think of it i find a pretty good valentine's day every year even when i'm single because i spend it with my girlfriends or like oh. you know i can buy lots of flowers no you need a guy to do it for you it's, it's appreciated way more better somebody gonna do it for you i ain't tripping well my name is <laughs> sam anyways I can't believe that won a Grammy. Actually, I can believe it won a Grammy. I can't believe that Miley Cyrus just won her first Grammy. That's something that, like, I'm pissed about. She should have won, like, a hundred times over. Hannah Montana? Are you kidding me? 
anyways, I just wanted to like share that with you guys. I thought it'd be like That's a fun true. little ending to my video. You definitely like, should have at least five of them by now. Valentine's Day memory I have. Every other memory has been pretty good. Uh, I can't complain. All in all, if you want to take one thing from this video, I think it's that you should treat Valentine's Day kind of like Thanksgiving. Like it's a reminder to uh, remind the people you love that you love them. Right. Like, just like a Thanksgiving. It's a right. Reminder. Okay. So she on the same type of time. That's what I was saying before. Okay. Like a, you know. I don't think it should be about a significant other. And if you guys have a significant other and you guys do have a partner to share it with or a situation chip to share it with, then take it seriously. I just realized how ridiculous that looks. I just threw my like towel up there to dry and that's like really disgusting. Yeah, well. yeah, I was gonna say, ew, I hate when people do that. That's nasty. <laughs> now there's water all on the shirts. I like ten towels just laying around. Ew! I thought that was a, I thought that was another one over there, and I, I didn't want to say nothing. That is ill. Oh man, that's okay. I would I would wash them for you. You know what I'm saying? While you're doing whatever you're doing. See how that works? You get somebody to help you uh, tidy up a little bit. <laughs> Look at that dog. <laughs> If you do have someone to share it with, then like take it seriously. But if you don't, use it as a reminder to tell like your friends you love them. I think that's what Mom says it should be about, right? It's not really serious because it's like 10 p.m. and I'm exhausted because I've been out all day and like I just had a long day. But yeah, Valentine's Day's fun. Treat it like that. Tell the people you love you love them. And that's what Valentine's Day should be about. <sighs> Anyways, today was therapeutic and felt good. Love you. Thank you so much for all the love lately. I've been really feeling it. Happy Valentine's Day. If you guys don't have Valentine, I'll be your Valentine. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Leave a comment down below if you know what you guys want to say. And in it, time to skedaddle. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye, guys. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Definitely got better. All right, we good, y'all. See y'all in the next one. We out. That was a good video, Tara. I enjoyed it. Happy Valentine's Day. Peace.